Welcome to Glorious Botafogo, your number one source of Botafogo news in English. I apologize for the lack of videos here the last few days. I usually, normally, I put one up right after a match, but I've been without internet since last Tuesday, so almost a week, or Wednesday, almost a week without it. It's finally back, but I guess, I guess it worked out in the end because today I received a goodie bag from Foot Fanatics. I announced it last week that I have a partnership with Foot Fanatics and I got some goodies and this is one of them. I have finally have the jersey from the last season, which I didn't have before. Uh, I was waiting a little bit to buy it. At the time I was a little, a little broke, but <laughs> Uh, I finally got it. Um, I got this cool hat that I've been looking to have a Botafogo hat. Just haven't had really liked one. And then I saw this one at the Foot Fanatics um, website and I got it. I got the training jersey from this season. This season, the sleeveless jersey. See that? No sleeves. No sleeves whatsoever because I am in Texas and it's summer and it's hot. So I would still like to wear Botafogo apparel out, especially when I go out to the soccer fields. I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm a, I'm a coach. I coach a, a U12 team. And I got my son a shirt, just like the one I have. If you guys have seen the videos here on the on the YouTube or, or Twitter, Instagram, whatever, you've seen me wear that. So I, I got one for my son. And last... But definitely not least, it is awesome, awesome mug that is a gel mug. I don't know if you guys can see the gel inside. See, see how the gel kind of turns over? Well, if you put the sucker in the freezer, the gel will um, freeze and it will keep your drink inside this mug colder for longer. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this, especially when I'm watching Botafogo matches um, and probably going to use this Wednesday, which Botafogo will again have the international broadcast for the game against Palmeiras this Wednesday with the narration and the commentary of the one and only Hobby Porto, which does a great, great job narrating Botafogo matches. Hobby is now a part of Botafogo TV. Hobby is officially part of Botafogo TV now, so he's going to be narrating the game. So if you live overseas and you're not in Brazil, tune into the official YouTube of Botafogo TV and you'll be able to watch the game. They're not just audio, it's image. You're going to be able to watch the game through the lens of Botafogo TV. So it's a great, great initiative by John Texter and everybody there at Botafogo, which once again, they're doing a phenomenal job at that. Speaking of Botafogo and speaking of phenomenal job, Botafogo beat Vitória from Bahia at the Barradão, bringing three points home and sitting on top of the table back in first place, tied with Palmeiras, which is our next opponent coming up. And then within everything that's been happening with John Texter and Leila Pereira and Botafogo and Palmeiras this last season and the behind the scenes stuff, this is going to be a huge match. There is 30,000 tickets sold so far for this upcoming Wednesday. There's There's got to be more though. 30,000 is not enough. I know I, I live in the, I live overseas. I don't live in Rio. If I lived in Rio, I'd be going to the match. But if you live in Rio, if you live in Brazil, if you live close enough and you can make your way to the Newton Santos Stadium on Wednesday, please do so. It is going to be a what we call in Brazil a match of six points because not only Botafogo wins the three points, it leaves Palmeiras behind three. So then they are obligated to, to beat us in the next leg uh, when, when Botafogo plays Palmeiras in the um, second leg of the Brazil, which will force Palmeiras to win to make up for the points lost against an, a direct opponent. And this is also going to be a preview of the Libertadores game that's going on next month. Botafogo and Palmeiras also will play each other in the Libertadores. It's a knockout stage, and the first match will again be at the Newton Santos. So it's very important for Palmeiras to feel, 
Botafogo fans at home for Palmeiras to feel the pressure coming from the stands. And if we do a good job this Wednesday, they will for sure be worried about coming back to play us at the Newton because Botafogo is a strong team at home and we need to continue to be a strong team. And there's no better game to show the strength of the supporters than the match happening this Wednesday. Speaking of the match this Wednesday, Igor, Jesus, Alain, and Thiago Almada have all been officially added to the Botafogo squad for the Brasileirão. They are 100% official. All the documentation is good. The players have been registered with CBF, so the players can now start. Of course, Almada won't be able to play because he is in Paris with Argentina, which just won the Copa America last night. But Igor Jesus and Alain are able to play and will play against Palmeiras this, well, I don't know if they will play, but they will probably be in the list of players chosen to, to head to the Newton Santos on Wednesday. I will assume that either one of them is going to play. I don't know if they're going to start, but I, I believe one of them at least, or both of them will come during the match. Probably the second half is the, the most safe option here. So as you can tell, this coming Wednesday is going to be a very important date. A lot of things are going to be happening. Um, John Texture announced that he's going to sue Leila Pereira, which is Palmeiras' president, for all the things that she's been saying about him. Um, behind the scenes, if you keep up with all my videos, you've heard a thing or two about John Texter being sued by Palmeiras, John Texter being sued by a bunch of people because of his match-fixing um, allegations and match-fixing proposals that he's been releasing out into the media. A lot of people have been saying that John Texture is accusing people when, in fact, he hasn't accused anybody. He just brought up names based on the findings of Good Game, which is a company that he hired to, 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 um, to investigate match-fixing that's been happening in Brazil. So that's one of the things... Um, one of the main reasons why there's such a, a animosity between Texture and Pereira. So now things will most likely get settled at the pitch on Wednesday. And I hope that Botafogo is the winner. I think so. I think we will be, be the winner on Wednesday and keep on our journey to, to clinch a title this season, which is either the Brasileirão, the Copa do Brasil, or the Libertadores. I think Botafogo will get a trophy this season. Um, so... I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I am correct on this. If you've gotten here so far, please like, please subscribe. It does help. As you can see from your support, liking and subscribing, I was able to get this Foot Fanatics partnership, and I, am, I was able to get a, an official website. So things are growing thanks to you guys. So keep on liking, keep on subscribing. If you're not subscribed, the majority of you that watch this video are subscribed. So thank you very much. So keep on supporting so I can keep making content for you, especially if you are a Botafogo fan overseas and you are a new Botafogo fan because of Olympique Lyonnais or Crystal Palace or Molenbeek or whatever the case may be, a, a player that came from one team to another team to Botafogo, like the case of Alain. There's a lot of Alwada fans that are now supporting Botafogo because of Alain. So I just want to uh, thank you guys for all the support. That is it. I, I will not promise. I can't promise. But I will try to do a live stream on Wednesday, watching the game and live streaming. We will see.